And now me and her mom thought about, you know, cosmetics and, you know, getting that all fixed up. And I was like, nah, just in case she decides to get big headed. Right? <laughs> just in case she decides to think her poop don't stink. You know what I'm saying? Like she has a little reminder. And it's also, you know, I, I try to teach my daughter compassion. Um, I try to teach my daughter to, uh, you know, just, just the same thing I, I tell you guys. I tell her to look, look, not look past differences, but accept people for their differences. And it opens the door for conversation in a world filled with Kim Kardashians and Car you know Kylie Jenner's and stuff like that. Um, you know, my, my, my daughter doesn't get made fun of a lot, but it opens the door for questions. Like, why do you have this ball spot right there? Blah, blah, this and that. And my daughter is, is sound enough and grounded enough to say, you know what, well, this is what I went through and so on and so forth. And, and just open the door to communication. Um, and maybe as she gets older, you know, people tell me, you know, when they get into their teens, it's a whole nother you know, thing, which I'm not ready for, but uh, I'm not at all. Um, just you see my daughter being seven, she's 10 now, so I'm three years behind. Um, but one day I went to her, I said, Jaden, a lot of people, they hear your dad's story. I was like, they watch your video, they hear your story. If you had a chance to come with me wherever I went, and I wouldn't bring her, but I'm, I'm really heavy on education, so she needs to go to school. Um, <laughs> I said, if you had a chance to come with me, what would you say to these adults? What would you say to these kids? What would you say to these people? And I just looked out my camera phone and I said, go. And this is what she said. No matter how hard life gets, you should never give up. Because if you think you can't, and you really can, you're gonna miss that chance. Now, this is why this is powerful. One, because it came out of a seven-year-old's mouth, okay? And then two is, my God, there was literally, and I'll put this into perspective, all right? I complained about a lot of things, a lot, right? Why is my cat still so hot? You know what I'm saying? Why are these ants in my bathroom? <laughs> I complain about a lot. Why is this car driving so slow? You're in the fast lane. You know, like, why is my plane delayed? Why, you know, just superficial things that just happened. My daughter was literally, could have been on her deathbed. A, doc, a doctor could have walked in any time and said, yo, you know what? Her tumor is inoperable. Your daughter has two weeks to live. Her cancer came back. So on and so forth. Anything. And to sit up there and say, look, no matter how hard, I'm telling y'all, no matter how hard life gets, we should never give up because if we think we can't and we really can, we're going to miss that chance, right? And people are losing their stuff over the, the presidential election. So what? You know what I'm saying? Like, we got to deal with that stuff, but have you dealt with what you got to deal with before? You know what I'm saying? That's minor compared to the power that you have, you know, as individuals, the power that you can put into other people and unleash their power. Like that first slide said, um, so if you're good enough and you're doing what you need to do, people will look at you and see themselves as someone who can do amazing things. And if you are that person, congratulations, because you have the key. You have unlocked what we have been searching for all this time. That's persistence, that's consistence, and that's flat out pure, Un, untampered with love, real love, real love. And that's what the world is yearning for. That's what these, these students are yearning for. And you can ask any student, these guys that came up, you can ask any foster youth, you can ask any at-risk youth, you can ask yourself. You didn't get here by yourself. Someone loved you enough to show you the way. Someone cared about you enough to show you that this is what your, your talent is. This is what you should do with your life. And we have to do the same. We have to do the same. Not color or race, we gotta get out of that. Just love somebody enough because somebody did it for you to do it back to somebody else. And that's why I'm here today. One, to tell you guys you're doing an excellent job. But two, to tell you guys you could do better. You could do better, we could do better. And how many chances have we missed because of our own fears? How many chances have we missed because of our, 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 the way we think? Our own environment, our own way we grew up, and we feel, oh, I can't talk to that person because I'm this or I'm that, so on and so forth. Stop missing chances. Stop missing chances because my life, my daughter's life, depended on what you guys did for me. I, I guarantee that when, when we found out her mom hit the fan, 
grandma hit the fan. Everybody around there is kind of crying and kind of threw their hands up. And I learned that, yo, life throws curveballs. You know what I'm saying? I learned that from you guys. That even despite statistics, rare form of brain cancer, you know, a lot of people die from cancer every year. Some of you guys are connected to that. You know that firsthand. Some of you guys are survivors yourselves. And for that, congratulations, because I know how difficult it is. But so, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> You survived, you made it happen. How selfish are we not to help somebody else survive? It doesn't have to be cancer. It could be finding shelter. It could be saying, yo, sit down, and it could be what they want to, or excuse me, what they need and not what they want. Like, yo, you need to get this grade. You need to join this program. You need to do this. You need to do that. Because we can do it. Because at the end of the day, Life throws curveballs, right? Say that with me. Life throws curveballs. One more time. Life throws curveballs. But even curveballs can be hit for home runs. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Z Yankees.